Hello, it is Topical Tuesday, July 11th, 2018. Steve Cypress here, and apologize for being so late recording today's video. We're losing the light. It is very near sunset here in sunny Arizona. We got a break in the weather with the monsoon season starting, and it dropped about 10 degrees, only to around 100 and something today. Uh, and man, I have just had a couple of weeks of the worst time with technology that I can possibly remember. Uh, at one of my websites get hacked I had to have another one just totally went down for a couple of weeks uh, my podcast feed has been down for I don't know about a month and uh, today about two hours ago look what happened this thing suddenly came on to my phone I went on and went on to iTunes for something and uh, it said oh you got to update the software and so I pressed to update the software and then this thing comes on the phone and I can't get it off for like over two hours so my phone's out of commission and my computer's completely out of commission because it's attempting to back up restore do whatever with the whatever so here I am on my iPad and finally I just said what the heck maybe I can do this on the iPad because normally I record the daily Facebook video on my phone and on direct mail Monday or times I want to do it from my desk I'm on my laptop and uh, Lo and behold, it works here on the iPad. So here we are, my only piece of remaining technology equipment that is actually functional right now. So let's get right to it. Great seeing you, George. And uh, wow, Alvin Bibbs is here. Alvin, it's been uh, at least uh, 10 years or so. Great seeing you, man, and hope things are fantastic with you. Okay, so let's get right to it. Uh, the biggest news story for the past week or two, uh, everyone, uh, you know, we couldn't go anywhere without everyone talking about it, which is great, by the way, because it's beats the heck out of all the normal nonsense that's going around in the news about politics. Maybe people realize there's more to life than politics. What do you know? And so the whole world, the whole country, everybody can all get together and root for these kids who... Now, I don't know a lot about the story because I'm not a big following the news guy, so I don't know how they got in there. There was something about... Because they're, they're in there with a coach, right? The coach took them on some initiation journey to go into a cave, which means I would not make the team. Uh, I have severe claustrophobia. There's no way. I don't understand also how they're saying the passage is so narrow that they can't even fit through it with a scuba tank. Well, then what kid and coach in their right mind squeezed through that to begin with to get in there? The, the, I, again, you can tell I haven't followed the story because there must be some explanation for that. But if the space is that small, a couple of miles into a cave, who the heck is going through that thing? And, like they don't know, it's a week before monsoon season and they're starting to get rained in. And the birdies are starting to chirp like crazy. They're starting, probably saying, be quiet, we want to go to sleep already. But uh, here's the deal, here's all I could think of. As the great news came today, I don't know when it actually, maybe last night, maybe yesterday, but I, I heard today, all the kids are out. So over the days, you know, there was two kids out, or five, or six, or four, or eight, or whatever it was, and they're all out. <laughs> oh, and by the way, this great question of like, gee, uh, I wonder if... A, you know, the kids are out. I wonder if the coach will be the last one out. Like, somebody actually asked that. People actually going forth like, yeah, we don't know what I'm like. We don't know. Think about it. Get, picture the coach in with a bunch of kids. These are like, what, 10-year-old kids or something. And picture that at what point would the coach say, hey, you kids stay here. I'm out of here. The heck with you guys. So, of course, the coach is last for crying out loud. But anyway. And Belinda Wisebay is here. Great seeing you, Belinda. And so, um, great news kids are out but it made me think you know like with everything I think about being a metaphor for an entrepreneur entrepreneurs life is a roller coaster of ups and downs we got tough times we got what we think are impossible situations now of course they're not life or death it's an amazing miracle to me those kids are alive and it's fantastic but entrepreneurs you know their financial situations the pressure to make payroll somehow to pay the bills somehow to keep the ads running to keep the the doors open to keep being able to run the business. Where's my next customer coming from? How can I can't, how come I can't get better customers that actually pay and actually stay and actually refer good people instead of other crummy people like them? And how come I can't get prospects to respond to me? And how come I can't even get prospects to be with? And all these questions, you feel like you're trapped in a cave, that you're running out of oxygen. Cash flow is the oxygen of a business, right? So all this analogy stuff fits to an entrepreneur that's facing a almost impossible situation and just feels there's no way out. Well, here's all I could think of through this whole story is the mistake so many entrepreneurs make, and I've done it myself years ago, what a big mistake is thinking you're going to get out on your own. 
hello, do you think if, if it wasn't a whole team of kids and a coach in this cave for how long, like 10 days before they were found or something, and then another two weeks to get them out or whatever, if that was just one kid spending a week or two before he even got found, do you think he'd just be sitting in there? Do you think he'd make it out? Do you think if there's one kid trapped in there? Or even the whole team and the coach. That's why they're just sitting there for a week or two before they were rescued. And, and one of the rescuers I hear even died. One of like the, the Navy SEAL divers, one of the finest divers in the world died in this attempting to, uh, to extract the kids and save them. So it's not an easy thing. Can't be done on your own. Can't even be done with an amateur. The, the best of the best in the world came in. I saw on the TV at one point there was like hundreds of I don't know who, it looked like soldiers, but like hundreds of medical people and scientists and geologists and, and, and the divers and all the equipment coming in and like, yeah. So there's no shame when you're having a tough time as an entrepreneur in, in realizing you can't get out of it yourself. You just can't. You get into it yourself. We do all the time. I do. I do stupid things. I don't listen to my coach and my consultant. And so hopefully you have partners, consultants, coaches, board of directors. Uh, you know, you're in some really high level mastermind groups that are run by an excellent moderator that runs the group well, and you get the help you need. But the other thing is you got to reach out for it. Most entrepreneurs I know, and I've done it myself again, I've gone into a shell. I've gone into a cave myself going through a tough time, embarrassed of the tough time, and so I go into a cave, and I don't talk to anybody, and I don't share it with anybody. I feel embarrassed. Hey, I was making all this money. Now I'm having a tough time. Like, it could be not your fault at all. I've been through situations where I've had embezzlement of over six figures. I've had lawsuits. I've had people coming at me, ripping me off. I just told you at the beginning here about some of the technology issues. I've had websites hacked and, and accounts taken out and, and, and identity theft stolen and, and employees stealing all my stuff and starting their own business and just copying everything I did. I mean, I've had all kinds of stuff. I've had competitors doing that. I've had all kinds of stuff. We're entrepreneurs. That stuff happens. We live in the jungle. That's why the rhino is the single symbol of the entrepreneur. We live life in the jungle. We're not, uh, you know, as opposed to a cow living on a farm, being taken care of, being cleaned up and told when to go out to the pasture, when to come back in and being fed and clean and taken care of the whole life. We've chosen not to have that life. We have the exciting life of the entrepreneur, but once in a while, we find ourselves in deep trouble. Well, that's it for Topical Tuesday. I've said it, I'm just gonna leave you with that. You can't get out alone. Not only do you need help getting out, you need the best help you can find getting out. You need the best guides to get you out. They said there was like two scuba divers with every kid the last I saw the other day. So one in the front, one behind, and they're holding onto a rope, and they got extra tanks, and they got some special kind of mass the kid's breathing in, and whatever, and these are unkid amateur. You know, whatever situation you're in, if you haven't been there before, sometimes even if you have, you don't know the best way out. You're untrained in how to get out of that, again. Big mistake thinking you're getting out of there alone. Cut that out. Don't be that guy. Reach out. Get some help. Whether it's embarrassing. I've been there, so it's embarrassing. It's, it's tough to do. Uh, but you know what? When you reach out to other entrepreneurs, we've all been there, and we admire your boldness to reach out. We admire your vulnerability, your honesty, your boldness. You get rewarded with help. We found the kids. Help comes in from all over the world. Everyone rallies, everyone roots, everyone prays, everyone hopes these kids gets out. And guess what? They're out. Now, again, haven't paid attention, but I hope they're sealing up the, the, the start of that cave or the whatever it is so that nobody else thinks for an initiation, yeah, let's go in there. That sounds like fun. But anyway, uh, that's it for Topical Tuesday. That's my point. So next time you think about the kids in a cave, Realize so many entrepreneurs, we get into a similar situation in business, in business terms, in financial terms. We get in a dark place where the oxygen is leaving. I heard that at one point when they first found them, somehow they thought because of monsoon season, they'll have to be in there for months. Like, I was like, are you kidding me? That's realistically an option? They hadn't eaten already for like 10 days when they found them, and now they're going to be in there in the dark with the oxygen leaving the place who knows and you know who knows what diseases they're getting in there and what you know what's going on i mean like for months come on now 
you might be thinking it's impossible to get out or it's going to take months, but you might get a guy that knows what he's doing. Uh, this is where you, you might want to find someone that's been through some tough times in business. I wouldn't go to, for help to somebody who's never been where you want to go, you know, for everything about this guy, no matter what you think or say. That's one of the things I, I, I thought of and I said right here on a video, I think, uh, if not on the Lessons Learned from Donald Trump podcast that I co-host, no matter what you think of the guy personally, which, but anyway, um, one reason I thought, you know, boy, you know, all these deranged people saying how unfit he was, I'm like, he's ideally fit for a country that's $20 billion in debt and looking like there's no way out, an economy that's just completely stalled for like 10 years, hasn't gotten above 1% GDP growth in a quarter. Like, everything is stalled, everything is miserable, we're completely in debt. How about a guy who's been there in his private life? Trump's been a billion dollars in debt. He's been completely broke, and somehow he dug himself out of the thing. So I'm like, hey, why not throw that guy in there? If anyone can do it, how about a guy who's already done it? So the same way, when you think, when you find yourself trapped in that cave and you think there's no hope, find someone who's been through trouble before. You know, my first multi-million dollar business that I built, I then screwed the whole thing up. You know, obviously at the time I didn't think that was a positive, but very soon after I realized, man, at least I learned to spot the warning signs, and I have helped countless entrepreneurs ever since then, because I can spot the warning signs ahead of time that even when their business is rolling, I mean, I was growing quickly, I was the largest business in my industry, and the whole thing went away. Boom. Gone. Again, I didn't reach out. I didn't get help. I did it all seat of my pants. So I built it seat of my pants. I lost it seat of my pants. Boom. Big mistake. I learned a lot of lessons. Helped a lot of people by pointing those out. And I've dragged people right out of caves in business and right back into life. And so get someone to help you. Not if, but when you're in that place. Because if you're watching this video, hopefully you're a business owner. And business owners, you're going to be in that place. There's no ifs. There's no buts. There's just when. When you are, I hope you do the same thing that happened to these kids in Thailand in a cave. You get the absolute best possible help because that's the only way you're getting out of there alive. And I hope you do. In fact, another thing I hope is that you stay alive to be back here tomorrow on Wisdom Wednesday where I'll be sharing a bit of wisdom. Hopefully some other piece of my technology is actually working. Therefore, I can record a little earlier before we lose the light. I'm looking at this hilarious lighting on my face. But uh, that's it for today. Hey, Steve is here. Great seeing you. Thanks, everyone, being here live and on the replay. And thanks for all the likes. And I'll be back tomorrow on Wisdom Wednesday. That's it for Topical Tuesday. Over and out. Bye-bye.